everybody, how's it going? Corey here from ThemeCo with a quick video on Element CSS. So while the controls in our builders are quite extensive and there's so much you can do right out of the box, there are still probably some situations you run into where you say, you know, I wish this particular element could do this. Well, thankfully there's actually a really easy way to leverage the same systems that our controls use for your own personal CSS. And you can do that by simply inspecting the element you want to work on, going to the Customize section, and then jumping up here to Element CSS. And when you click on this Edit CSS Input, it will reveal this code editor, which basically explains what's going on. Effectively on the front end of the site, any element you add to that page gets a unique identifying class added to it. And any of the styles that are applied using our controls are attached to that class. So in this editor, you can actually use this dollar sign L keyword, which will leverage that exact same class and effectively bundle up your custom CSS along with our generated CSS and output it all to the same block on the front end. So it's very clean, very efficient, and you don't have to remember anything. You can simply type an L and you don't have to go find that generated class on the front end. So that's really nice. In this example, let's say I like this button, but I would like it to have a little bit of movement when I hover over it. I could simply type dollar sign L, then use my hover pseudo class. And I'm gonna do transform, translate 3D. Let's have it move up five pixels. And then we'll close that statement out. So again, this L on the front end is being changed to the generated class. And you can see when I hover over here in the preview that my button is now moving up just a little bit. So that's really cool, but you say, okay, well, I've got two buttons in this section. Well, we can use Element CSS at any level in the builder. So I can take those styles that I just applied and I can jump up here to my section. And I'll inspect that instead. Do edit CSS, paste it in. And again, we're seeing that now when I hover over the section, it's actually bumping the whole section up. So this is not what we want. If you do want these styles to apply to every element within the section, I would need to remember that, okay, these are my button elements. Those use the X anchor class. So I need to apply the hover style to that. So we put L here, space, X anchor. And now when I hover over each button, I get the hover effect. So the really great thing about this is if you do have a section where you've created these custom buttons, let's say, you can apply this element CSS to the section, have it target every button. And then if you were to save this as a preset or a global block, that element CSS is saved along with that global block or preset and it's output every time you need to recall that element. So it's effectively just like adding your own little bit of custom control to that element. 